Hi, my name is Melissa Bacone and I'm going to teach you how to make pearls in Photoshop. This is going to be what our end result is going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and close this file, Commander Control W. We're going to start with a brand new file, Commander Control N, and I want a 6x6 300 ppi image, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I want to make a new layer, and I need my brush tool. I have my brush tool selected. I'm going to come up here. I am going to choose the number 9, and I'm sorry, 19, 100% hardness brush. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my brushes panel. And I'm going to turn off shape dynamics. Come up here to my brush presets. I'm going to type in 100 pixels. Come over here and check. Yep, that looks about good. Brush tip shape. I'm going to increase my spacing to 100%. Now I have something that looks like pearls. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. And I'm just going to draw myself a string of pearls. Now I drew them in white, so you cannot see. I'm going to turn off my background layer. Now you can kind of see my pearls in here. So let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Now what we want to do is we want to add some effects, some layer styles here. So I am going to start with my bevel and emboss. And I want to change my technique from smooth to chisel hard. And I want to really increase my depth quite a bit. I want to crank it up to about 780. And I want to up my size here to about 38. And I want to soften it all the way, 100%. I'm going to come down to my shading and I'm going to change my gloss contour. And I actually just want to choose a preset. I'm going to choose this third one in here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the angle of my lighting and the altitude of my lighting. So I'm going to change the angle to 64 is good. And I'm going to change the altitude actually to minus 60. OK, and I'm going to lower my multiply for my shadow. I don't not need my shadows to be that dense. So I'm going to bring these down to about 48%. Now you may be wondering where I'm getting all these numbers from. And it was just from playing around, figure out what's going to work and look like pearls. I'm going to click here on contour and I'm going to go ahead and choose this contour here. And it's not exactly what I want, this contour, so I'm actually going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to change it and I'm going to modify my contour just a little bit so it looks kinda like this nice steep slope I'm going to bring this part over a little more and you can see I'm really getting a nice little half moon highlight going on in there I also want to add a color overlay because pearls aren't totally white so I'm going to choose something that's kind of a little creamy color. Okay, that looks like a good cream color, but that's way too much. So let's back off in the opacity to about 50%. And look at, we've got some nice, a nice half moon going on in there. And I'm going to click OK. And now, so you can see them better, let's just go ahead and click on our background. And there you have some pearls. And then if you wanted to, you can come back in here and add some drop shadows so it give it some depth. So it actually looks like they're popping off the page. And I like my drop shadows to be going this way. Actually, I want to turn off global light. Now, turn back on global light because now we mess it all up. So I need to put it back where it was. Just somewhere in there. Turn off global light. And now go ahead and add my drop shadow. There we go. And give it a little bit more. Actually increase the size a little bit. Decrease the distance a little bit. There we go. We have a brand new set of shiny pearls.